Yo, what is going on, Mono Brown Men? Welcome to the Mono Brown Man channel. <laughs> I am not calling my fan base the Mono Brown Men. What the hell was that? <laughs> anyway, guys, today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. Today we're going to be doing a top 10 video. Now, veterans of the channel may remember I tried to do a top 10 video way back in the day, and it was not very good. But since then, I've had about a year or two of experience, so I figured let's use all the skills that I've learned since that video and try it again. Now, you may be wondering, what is this top 10 video about? Well, you're probably not wondering that if you read the title, which you almost definitely have if you clicked on this video, so. But just in case anyone somehow was confused, today we're gonna be counting down the top 10 rappers that Eminem was afraid to diss. Now Eminem is of course one of the most, um, rappers of all time. He was one of the most rappers of all time. Yep, that's that's what I'm going with. But today we're counting down 10 rappers that are slightly more rapper than him. So I've got really nothing else to say other than watch Mojo, please don't steal this idea. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. You know there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. Now, for anyone who's upset that the rapping dog is number 10 on the list, I do apologize, but trust me, when you see the other entries on this list, you will understand why. Now, the rapping dog is undoubtedly ahead of his time. As we all know, the Titanic tragically sank in the year 1912, and rap didn't quite grace the scene until about, I don't know, 19... Actually, you know what, the 19, the late 1900s, let's go with that. So of course the rapping dog being the pioneer of the rap genre itself obviously gets him on the list. Though of course just because you're the first, that doesn't necessarily make you the best. Now the reason I'd say Eminem would not even dare challenge the rapping dog is because, well, Quite frankly, the rapping dog is the master. He is the, the sensei, if you will. If Eminem and the rapping dog were to enter a rap battle, I would say Eminem would probably come out victorious. However, he would not, I just don't see him being the type of person to go up and challenge the rapping dog. After all, he is, he did invent the genre and of course Eminem would, would choose to respect that. But the joke's pretty much over at this point. You may as well stop watching because this is as far as it gets. Like it stops being funny after the first entry. Anyway, here's number nine. Taco Bell brown water. Okay, taking the number nine spot is of course Captain Sparkles from the Minecraft parody Revenge. Gnome! Old chum! I have already talked about this in its own video, so if you are interested, go watch that. But to summarise, he's um he's more rapper than Eminem, and Eminem would be a fool to think he could dismiss the sparkles. So um number eight. <laughs> number eight is of course Chills, aka Burger King Foot Lettuce Man. Now I'm sure we are all aware of Burger King Foot Lettuce at this point. If you aren't, please unsubscribe. But what not a lot of people know is the fact that he actually has his very own rap career. Yes, this is very uncommon knowledge. Is that is that a word? Is that a phrase? Uncommon knowledge? Yes, okay, I'll take it. Now Chills best track in my opinion is of course Ain't It Funny. I don't know if that's the title and I can't be bothered to look it up, so if you just type that in, I'm sure you'll get it. Okay, no you don't. The song is actually called Sidelined by Chills. So yeah, um, it's not a good song, let's be real. Uh, I mean, yes, yes it is. It's an amazing song. Eminem would be a fool to believe he could top this ever in his life. All right, for real, the, the, the Chill song is actually pretty funny if you want to take a listen to it. Like, you can barely understand what he's saying without the subtitles. Like, it just... It just sounds like a bunch of alien nonsense. Ain't it funny? You hit them, you say you love me. And you know what? Good good for this man. He's clearly he's clearly embraced his meme format and he's and he's gone into music. I, I, I can't say I blame him, I guess. Number seven. Now taking the number seven spot on the list would have to be the puzzler from the number jacks. I don't have any footage of him rapping, nor is there any evidence that he can rap, but do you think Eminem's gonna challenge the puzzler to a rap battle? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Number six, more ghosts. The number six spot is gonna have to go to Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country TV series. You can get away with this monkey business. Bro, 
I'm not even gonna lie to you, Our Love is Stronger Than a Golden Banana is an actual banger. Like, I, I almost cried while listening to it for the first time. It's such a powerful song. I think the animation really helps. You can tell the crew just really put all their time and dedication into making it just one of the most beautiful pieces of artwork ever out there. If you've got the time, take a listen to it. You, you won't regret it, I promise. I shower you with coconut cream pie. Honestly, if Eminem even tried to step to that, he would probably just start bursting out into tears. Or probably not, I don't know him. Yeah, there was a Donkey Kong Country animated series. I just kind of found that out the other day. And I'm kind of, I'm really glad I did. Okay. Now, I feel we're ignoring a very important individual in the rap industry. I already know all the comments will be yelling at me if I don't include him on the list, so... I apologise he's not one, number one, but you know, at least he's here at all, right? You know him, you love him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for Biggie Cheese! Like, I don't even need to say his name and you already know the impact that he's had on the rap genre as a whole. Like, I can't believe the nerve of some people like Mr. Bombastic who actually tried to rip off this incredible artist's work. Oh, like, don't even get me started on Shaggy. Like, what, what was he even thinking? Yes, his passing did take a toll on all of us, I imagine, but his legacy will still live on through animated classics such as The Barnyard. I don't know if it's a good idea to have the curtains open while wearing this mask. Number four, Hail Satan, Dora the Explorer. Now as I'm sure you're all aware, it's a bit risky me making this video at all because as soon as the copper mill sees that there's a video with cartoon characters and kids characters in it, they're immediately gonna be on my ass. Which is why I'm about to use the fuck word to immediately get them off my trail. It's not gonna work, but you know, at least I tried. If I had to make a new channel, would you follow me? Anyway, the number four ranking is the, the Naked Mole Rap from Kim Possible. I've never seen it, so I can't really say anything much beyond that. Taco Bell Pills Nachos. The number three ranking is of course gonna have to be Whore Rap from The Nut Shack. I'm just trying to include some adult characters, so I'm less likely to get game ended. Okay. I really didn't want to have to do this. But the number two spot goes to Teddy. You, you can work on a of shot in your still doing your thing. That video is never going public again. All right, so before we get to the number one spot, let's quickly go through some honorable mentions. These are rappers that Eminem would enter a battle with, but would come out traumatized for life. Beep, beep, five, five, four, four, fun. Shrek ain't no average ogre, son. I broke up with my ex-girl. Here's a number. Psych, that's the wrong number. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Do the Mario, swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go, do the Mario. <laughs> So nice. Now, you may disagree with me on this, but I am going to have to give the number one spot to two people, so I don't... No, you know what? It's my top ten list, so I can do what I want. The number one spot goes to Sid and Andy from the CBB's number rap songs. One, one, it's right at the start. Every time you can, two, one is taking part, one. I used to watch these all the time as a kid and I just really, I just really want to draw attention to them. They're difficult to find, but if you know what you're looking for, you can look them up on YouTube. And they just, I found them recently and it just made me the happiest I've felt in a long time. Assuming my channel actually survives copper, I might actually make a video about that though. Probably not. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a short one, I think. I don't know. It's just a bit of a side project that I'm working on since I had the time to film. Follow my meme Instagram page, follow my meme Twitter page. It's not actually a meme Twitter page, but it's pretty much become that at this point. Anyway, I've been Marlon Brown Man. Die. See you next time. One.